Hello guys and welcome to my 3-gate robo tutorial. Um, the 3-gate robo build is good in the Protoss vs Protoss matchup and as we see here in Protoss vs Terran. And without further ado, let's get into the game. Now I'm going to follow my player cam so we can see exactly what this build is. Um, it's a very safe build. It's meant to withstand early aggression without sacrificing pro putter production so it's quite good for beginners and I still use this build in my PvP matchup to counter four gates or blink stalkers it's very good against all that jazz so I will post the build order in the video description below and now we will see a pylon at nine come on <laughs> actually I'll click on the nexus for you all game so you can see when I'm producing probes because it's quite important so we're just doing the good old stuff, we are scouting at 9, which I recommend for all beginners, I don't normally do it myself, but it's always good, especially against Zerg, because you want to see if 6 pool is coming. Though, to be frank, I probably wouldn't use this build against Zerg, it's not very good. But against Terran and Protoss, it works good. So you chrono the Nexus straight after the pylon's produced. Keep an eye on your scouting probe, you really want to keep it alive. And then you put your gateway down on 13. This is slightly more economical than a gateway on 12. And with this scouting that I've just seen, no gas and one racks in the main, not walling off, I would normally expect the Terran to fast expand. However, this is against very hard AI, so I don't think they will do that. They'll probably just throw down another racks and attack me, as the AI typically do. Now, if you have problems against very hard AI, don't worry about it, just practice against hard or medium or whatever you need to practice against until you get comfortable with the units and this build. <coughs> um, I wouldn't recommend practicing against um, insane AI, because they cheat, quite frankly, they get extra income. Hmm. <coughs> so now we just throw down the Cyber X core, and we will get our Zealot out on 19 supply. Um, the three units you build first are a Zealot, followed by a Stalker, followed by a Sentry, so you've got one of each gateway unit. Um, the Zealot's just generally good early defense against Gs and stuff. Stalker will hunt down Reapers in this matchup from the Terran, but I don't think the computer will do that to me. Again, the computer's not that bright. And the Sentry, of course, is vitally important. You do not want to forget to build a Sentry in Protoss vs Terran, because you will probably die. Very simply. <coughs> so now we're chronoing that warp gate and getting our first stalker out. Ooh. Sip of water, very vital. On 25, the second gas goes down. Which is cool. I'm just keeping my zealot up the ramp here. On hold position, remember, don't forget so it doesn't get lured away by any SCVs. Second gateway on 26 supply, and that's perfectly normal. Hmm. Put the guys in gas as soon as the assimilator is complete. Ooh, one too many. I'm here in the shadows. And just from this point on, all the chrono boosts get used on the Cybernetics core. We want to get that warp gate done as soon as possible. This is especially critical in Protoss vs Protoss, where you may need to warp in sentries to delay an enemy fall gate. And we're almost completed this build now. I just need to throw down a robotics bay on 31. At roughly 5 minutes 20. That's a good time for it. If it's any later than 5.30, you know you've done the build slightly wrong. Just trying to kill the SCV. Going down three seconds late because I was busy trying to chase an SCV. But let's pause the video there. Okay. So that is the basic build. So you will have three gateways, one robotics facility. And this is a very versatile combination. Very, very useful. Anyway. Um, because of the YouTube video time limit, I had to go all in at this point, which I would not normally do with this build. Um, depending on what you scout, of course, you could expand after this. As you see, my minerals getting quite high. You can expand. Um, you can warp in a round of units if there's early aggression heading your way. It's really your world's your oyster. You can do anything. Or, if you really want to be mm, crafty, you can go for early Colossus tech. 
but I don't often like to do that. It's very susceptible to Terran mid-game pressure. Oop. Now I've seen the army, so I pull back. And it's four marauders and some marines, so the sentries are the key here. Without the sentries, I could not hold this off. So, the goal here is to delay the enemy in time so I can get a marauder out. Um, not a marauder, an immortal out to counter the marauders. Because immortals absolutely pwn marauders. Now, unfortunately, I missed this force field. I'm going to pause this here. The marines can actually run past that. You want to get it in the middle of the ramp at the bottom. But it's critical it's at the bottom of the ramp. Because if it's halfway up, the Terran can get vision. You see, at the moment, the Terran can't shoot at any of my units. But, see that marine? He suddenly got vision. Now he can shoot all that. So that was a bad force field by me. You want to get it in the middle of the ramp at the bottom. That is absolutely critical in PVT. I'll not follow my camera anymore because the build is complete. Notice. Three gateways and a robo, nothing else, just an extra pylon for the supply. But we're going to hold this attack off quite nicely. Just by delaying it and delaying it, because he's got quite a lot of marauders and now the immortal's there. I'm going to let him come up the ramp and slaughter him with zealots and that immortal. As we shall see. <clears throat> the force field behind is to stop, well, them running away basically, because a human player would try and run away from the zealots. Because marines and marauders can kite zealots particularly well. Especially when they have stim. But this Terran has not got stim. What a shame. Now because of the time limit as mentioned. I'm going to move out now and go in for the kill. If we look at the Terran base. He has three racks. Which is hmm, not used so much anymore. Two racks is much more common. But he's still churning out units. And still got a lot of marauders. And marauders really rip apart stalkers and sentries. So you need those immortals in there. And another remote following. So again, I wouldn't normally go all in at this point. After holding off a push like that and getting ahead, I would probably expand to my natural. That would be a much safer and more macro game. But again, for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to go all in, try to kill a Terran. Um, normally this would be a very bad time to attack a Terran. They are very strong in the early to mid game against Protoss. So this is bad strategy. I would not recommend doing this. But again, I just wanted to prove that this build order can work and kill at least a very hard AI, so it's not terribly bad. <coughs> hmm. I'm just baiting him down the ramp. Again, I tried to keep those out of range, which I did quite well, but unfortunately there was a few too many forces, so I had to pull back and warp in more units. Hmm. Good old water. Notice the warp prism. That's going to be useful in a minute. And the zealots, of course, soaking up so much damage, allowing the stalkers to fire. That's really the main job of the zealots, to soak up the damage of the marauders, if possible. And now we've got a nice little force here, and Terran, as we see, has a very little at the top of this ramp, so I could walk up and cripple that, just waiting for a few extra zealots. And, of course, the warp prism. I'm a very big fan of warp prism harass. If I hadn't expanded like this... My other option would have been get a wall prism and just darting with some zealots in his mineral line. And then run away, keeping all my forces alive. Just to provoke him. And now we see there's not really much Terran can do. And that's bad, I should be focusing the marines, there we go. And that's about it. Three gate robo. One dead Terran. Hmm. Yes, I really can't see anything a Terran could do from this to get back into it. GG. Cool. So, three gate robo. Of course there I was going all in, so I threw down another gateway. And I was throwing down two more nearer the end in case I needed them. But that's pretty much all there is to it. It's very good PVT build if the Terran doesn't fast expand. If they do, this all-in would actually be more effective, but against human players they'd build bunkers and it would be a lot more difficult. But generally it's very good defensive and it will stop that early push that the Terran did there. And that early push used to kill me all the time because I just didn't know what to do. But now I do know what to do, just force field the ramp. Get the Immortals out. Of course, if they've gone pure Marine, you don't want the Immortals. You'll want extra Zealots and lots of Sentries and not much else. So I hope this build has been useful to you guys. Um, this was Foxcode. Um, 
have fun trying it out.